Hi, it's Dr. Centeno, and this is part two, how to rehab from CCI rehab strategies. So I want you to like, comment, share, and subscribe because that's how we get this information out to more patients like you. Now this is a three-part series. We start out with threading the needle, and now we're gonna to go to rehab strategies and we'll end with matching your functional level. And there are deep dive videos even further past that where you can get into any of these subjects. So what are rehab strategies and interventions? Cause you're gonna to need to know that for this video. Rehab strategies are things that are conservative like chiropractic, physical therapy, curve correction, et cetera. Whereas interventions are things that are more invasive like minimally invasive injections of orthobiologics or surgery. Now, as far as CCI goes, we've got two types of instability, ligament and muscular. And on the ligament side, you can obviously try through natural healing. That would be things like OA and NUCA or curve correction. You can do image guide orthobiologics. You can even get a fusion. As far as muscular instability is concerned, obviously you can try to get more active, see if that works. If that doesn't work, then you can go through specific strengthening which would be with no load initially, very low level, things like laser exercises, or you can add a little bit of load eventually. You can build up to that. Manual resistance with range of motion. There are devices you can use at home. You can also go to larger load. And then as far as healing goes, sometimes you need to heal these muscles and tendons that have been damaged through the years. So that might be focusing on the weak primary stabilizers or the overloaded secondary stabilizers with things like dry needling or image guided orthobiologics. Now, as far as symptomatic structures are concerned, these are structures in your neck that are causing the symptoms. That's important to realize that it's these structures that cause the symptoms. And now those can be things like the upper neck joints or various nerves that need to be treated. Now, again, these might heal naturally. You can try A or NUCA to align things, to take some pressure off of these and try to let them heal or very precise image guided orthobiologics. Proprioception or position sense is another thing you've got to be thinking about. And that is basically the ability to determine which end is up. Um, and we've got simple neck and eye exercises that you can consider doing at a very low level. You can graduate to formal vision therapy, optometry, or you can actually even do much more complex things like a gyro stem machine. And then on curve correction, start with a simple towel test. Uh, I'll get into that in the deep dive video. And you can use home devices to try to improve the curve, or you can try chiropractic biophysics. Again, starting with the simplest and moving up as you tolerate it. Critical point there, everything I'm talking about follows that same pathway that we discussed in the part one, threading the needle. And then finally, posture. You can look at the overall structure or core strength. You can do home exercises, which are the easiest to try. You can go to more formal online exercises and or more formal physical therapy. So in summary, understanding the six types of rehab interventions that you might need is really critical in rehabbing from CCI. You need to thread the needle with all of these. So if you haven't watched that first video, threading the needle, go back so that you can get an idea of how you approach these. And again, it's all starting slow and trying to advance and keeping your symptoms at a minimum. And if you can advance, that's when precise orthobiologic injections may be needed. So you might need that to get to the next level. Thanks so much for watching. And again, like, comment, share, and subscribe because that's how we get this information out to more patients like you.